Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you how to create uh, a filter which you see like it looks a little bit of pixelated uh, watercolor but when you open your mouth you change the scene of the color yeah you see uh, okay so uh, yeah today I'm going to show you how to make it and then uh, I find out some of the uh, website are really useful uh, this tutorial are really useful the complete spark AR course butane Instagram AR effects basically I learned some effects from here uh, the uh, class number five shaders and then I want to recommend the github which you can download a lot of patches here okay so let's start Okay, so basically, how to make um, how to make a um, uh, a filter. Okay, so let's having another new one. Okay, so all you need to do is to make a canvas and having a square here, and then apply the materials both on the camera and on the uh, square okay so so first we have to uh, get a canvas okay so let's create a canvas and then inside a canvas we need to add a rectangle okay then we need to make make it full size yeah and then we need to add the material to it okay and as for material uh, we need to apply a texture on it so we can apply the texture from the camera so texture extraction then we have this right we got the camera texture then we create a patch drag it so this is the when camera receiving all the lights right so RGB A, RGB and A so those are how um, camera perceive the, the lights and this square will be generating stuff getting the information and then so all the effect will, will be between the camera and the square so let's create another one uh, let's apply this to here and then apply to here so this is the material right what we see and this is camera so everything all the effect will be between it and those are the most complicated one okay so let's go back i have been experiment this for a while so uh, some of them work, some of them didn't work, but I can share with you some of the uh, some of the stuff that I experiment. Okay, so chromatic abbreviation is the um, patches that I learned from the online class Udemy class from this class. So if you are interested, you can purchase it and you can learn how to create the whole uh, effect. Basically, you can open it. It's basically get the, um, the light and then kind of make it RGBA, right? This is RGBA. Basically, this texture is from, go back, it's from here. RGBA. So let's make it larger. Okay, so you see you you kind of change it to RGBA, right? So you can make it like RGB, RGB, RPG. You can swap whatever you want. For example, like let me change it. If you make it zero, you see something? See when you open your mouth, it changes to other colors. But if you go back to R, yeah, go back to red, maybe R, R, make it, 
Yeah, so you can play around with the RGBA. Yeah, okay, let's go back. Previous one. Okay, and then, yeah, so you start playing around it. Then, yeah, there are a lot of math here. Basically, you kind of ex kind of like get RGB, kind of extract them, and then combine them better. Yeah, and you can uh, kind of like uh, doing the scale thing and pivot. Pivot means that you can switch the, the position, right? So you can put like a one, one. Yeah, oh, it's not really clear, maybe. Let's see. Some part is shifting, maybe scale is easier. For example, like um, I'm switching a red part scales, maybe 10, so you can see. See? I think this one might be better. Looks more aggressive, right? Okay, so maybe I switch this one. Okay, so basically you play around with all the parameters. I will say, as for artists, <laughs> you can uh, purchase the c class and learn all the basics, and then you can play around with it. So what I do is I play three. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. So. Um, play around this and then you 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 do the texture transform basically everything you go on top it's all texture based so after you export it it will become texture as well so uh, add I find out add is a really interesting thing okay so basically if you want to add to uh, similar stuff you can you can place one texture, another texture outcome, and put add, and make it another just like one and one, and then you combine it to another database, and then you can have another set, uh, combine the two and become another one, and later on you can add those two add into one add. So it's kind of simplify or organize the data. Find out add is a really interesting stuff. Yeah, okay. Then negate. Negate is another cool stuff which can turn positive to negative. Okay, so if we want to do the color, maybe vector two. Negate, let me do negate. Maybe two. Can play around the color. Yeah. I think this one is probably much better. Yeah. So yeah, you can see like the color is going to to, to be pretty crazy right now. Okay. So basically, you um, kind of extract all the color channel and you combine them together, right? And then you you combine them and make it simple. Then okay. So this is the fun part. This part is I add, okay, so, so because it's really boring just to, you know, apply this without interaction. So I was thinking about either blink or not, and you change the, the whole color of the scene. But uh, how to do it? Okay, so basically you do if then, if then. I, I, all, all I did was like I type if then and I put the patch here and then I go to the fast like a fast tracker and then I add another interaction which I can choose either blink I find out a lot of them it's hard to detect so I just use open mouse mouse open I think that's easier and I won't feel too tired okay so this is the one okay so when I open my mouse then all the scene the color changes yeah right okay so basically what I did was to 
Okay, so this is the uh, I found this is the red one. This is the green and yellow one, right? So if I open the mouse, then I go to red, right? If I don't open the mouse, I go to the normal state. Okay, that's that. that, that that's test it out whether what I say is right or wrong. So, so this is the red one, right? So if I open my mouse, ah, uh, then I go to, this is one, one means yes, zero means no, I think so. <laughs> okay, so, so basically what I was testing is that I put even yes, like no matter what, no matter whether I open mouth or not open mouth, it's all red, right? Okay. And this one is green. Yeah, so no matter whether I open mouth or not, it's all green. But if I put the top one is red, so if I, if the face founder detect the face, the face, the mouth open, right? And it start doing on and off and checking whether it is, uh, whether it is on or off. So if it is on, then that's make it red. If it is off, then that's make green. So like this, it's green. It's red. Okay, so that's linked to texture. Okay, so this is the pretty much the whole, whole crazy shader that I learned. And I really recommend uh, you purchase the class so you can learn more about it because everything is a little repetitive. So I won't spend too much time on the shader. You can pretty much follow the class and learn everything. Okay, so then let's do the small part, that little part that we mentioned before. Okay, so what's this part? This part is pretty much, okay, so let me pause it. Okay, let me restart it, you can see. Da da da, open your mouth, if you see it, open your mouth, right? So this is like an instruction at the beginning and I said like 10 seconds, the first 10 seconds it will show up. So people know that, oh, I need to open my mouth. And when they open the mouth, the whole world change. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so, um, so how to do it? Let's go to the project, edit property. Okay, so basically, yeah, this one, capabilities. Okay, so at the beginning you won't see instruction you need to go here and type instructions yeah click it and you can get it and there will be two one is automatic instruction another one is custom custom instruction you want custom so and then i i i click the the plus and i just type open 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 your mouth right and i insert so it will show up a token code open your mouth okay that's done then let's go to device because instruction is kind of like really on the really top level right so let's see and you go to instruction and click custom instruction then you will get a patch okay but maybe i have to use the use this one okay so let's do this let's make sure instructions and then let's do, go to custom open your mouse 
Okay, so this is the token, right? So let's go back to the device and then custom instruction. So you got the custom instruction, right? So this is how you get the custom instruction. So this patch. Okay, so then how can we do the, 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 the token thing? And need to. Okay, so uh, available tokens. Then we have to do the runtime thing. Go to here and create. Uh, I think. Okay, so I think here and I create a patch. I create two. Because I don't care whether you open it or not. You, I, I want it just show 10 seconds so you can go here token yeah and you can see uh, uh, oh yeah here okay you can see an available tokens here okay so let's go back it's a little chaotic okay so how to make this one so you go to here and create instructions then I don't, I don't know why like those little things just stick together okay so so remember all those filters is between camera texture and material so you can do whatever creative shaders you want in between here and then this is the token so basically you can pretty much yeah see the instruction right but you can create like a the runtime like whatever if you open your mouth or you if you don't you just see see it okay so let's refresh it open your mouth ah okay let me do it Yeah, so at the beginning you will always show. So yeah, so for me, I think it's cool. It's like a instructions, you can put instructions or you can instruction on open. It's all good. Mm, yeah, so you can create instructions out of here. Okay, so pretty much this is today's tutorial. I know it's really chaotic. It's the shader part, which is crazy. It involves a lot of crazy math, but uh, it's also a lot of experiment. And I really recommend you to uh, explore some patches. It's really fun and uh, interesting. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.